The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. Well, that was a one-day sabbatical, folks. Uh, I've been asked to come back from some of our friends here at TFNN, uh, uh, Tommy O'Brien, and those were kind enough to let me have the time off. But, folks, I, I wait for places like this in the market for six, seven, ten years sometimes and there's just no reason to be away from it so i might have to take a little extra time i'm having a tremendous health problem folks for the first time in my adult life and i mean way way back into my teens that i am sleeping for seven hours a night and it's been six nights in a row i can't believe it i wake up with an alarm i'm, I'm awake i have to wake up when i wake up it's light out i mean i've never had that happen before i'm taking a product called um Fexonet, F-E-X-O-N-E-T, Fexonet. It's a herbal problem with valerian root and chamomile and passion flower and, and tryptophan. And I mean, I don't know where I take two, two of these pills and I wake up. Uh, I just can't believe that I've slept that long. I mean, I, 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 my, my drought is over. I, I, I don't enjoy sleeping very much. In fact, I miss a lot of stuff because of the middle of the night, but I'm actually sleeping for the first time. Uh, and I'm just uh, shocked, but it's it's a it's a great experience, and I I do like it. But I love these markets, and these are the kind of markets that I really like. I posted the charts here. The first one was the DAX. You see, we had a pretty big sell-off in that, and we also had a sell-off in the FTSE. Not to be unexpected, because you can see what's happening to our market over here, folks. We are in a bear market now. There's no question about it. Now, the last chart that I posted up here, you'll see, happens to be. One of our favorite patterns was, uh-oh, shut the front door and raise a rent. Lost it. Doggone it. Okay, uh, what's uh, step number two is I got to get it back up. And here it is. Let's get it going here, and we'll be ready to go. Been so long since I've been on the program here. Can hardly remember what to do. Okay, here is the natural gas. You can see here we made a beautiful ABCD pattern here about three hours ago. Uh, perfect Garley right at the 61% retracement. The sale came in at 884. You see where it's trading here, folks? That's when I posted it, when it was 78. It went to 71, folks. Do you know how much money that is? From the from 84 to, to 71, that's $13,000. I mean, that's a big amount of money. Now, you want to ask me, did I take all of that? Well, I was fortunate enough because I believe in the ABCD patterns. I had my open order to cover at $2,500 lower because I was only risking $400. That was a six to one risk reward ratio. That's what I wanted to have happen. But when I saw the fill come in, by the, t by the time the fill came in, it was $2,000 lower than that. And so that's it. So nothing else you can do about it, but that's a beautiful pattern. You can see just a perfect ABCD right at the 61% retracement, i.e., you know, that is a Gartley pattern. Okay, now a couple things that we need to cover. We've had a lot of things happening, folks. These markets are acting as perfectly as you could ever possibly ever ask for. Let me just show you yesterday's move in the gold market, folks. This was one that we predicted uh, long before it happened, which was really pretty cool. Hold on just a second here. We'll get this up here. To take a look at it and you'll see it. this again we're back I go to a fifth we have swings like this folks you can go to a 15 minute time frame because they're monsters here was the opening Sunday night here we opened two dollars higher after having this monster for 60 60 dollar rally on uh, Friday and then look what the market does it makes a perfect 382 garly right there at 875 has another one right here and then continues to go down all the way down to 812. We're still short that, folks. I mean, that's a heck of a move. And uh, that's what makes, uh, you know, these uh, these patterns pay off when they really pay off. Uh, there's a whole bunch of them to look at, but I wanted to show you the ones from last night because I sent the I sent a video out those of you that belong to the 24 
seven uh, service. You'll, you've got this video because I said look for a 382 pattern overnight in the E-mini S&P and also in the, uh, the Dow Jones Industrials. There's the one in the Dow Jones Industrials. You'll see where it hit there. Of course, we went down and tested the lows already. So there is the one that we had uh, yesterday right off of the 382. I mean, these are these are incredible moves that we're seeing, folks. There's nothing mysterious about them. I mean, we're seeing them in, in just about everything. We've seen it in gold. Uh, we've seen it in crude oil. Let's get let's just take a, a quick uh, move back here uh, in the crude oil here to take a look at this crude oil because this is one that we have to we have to respect this. It also gives us a chance to tell us a little bit about my good friend John Hill. And uh, this is the, the chart of the, you can see the beautiful 382 here. That's a $2,000 move, folks, in one hour. Now, here's the key. Do you see this big thrust up like this? When you see a thrust up like this, and you see this market go up here with virtually no down ticks, once we go beyond the 80% level, just above 786, this is telling you that this has got a lot of power. This is exactly what happened in gold. On Friday, remember we hit 18.31, then we went to 18.48. From 18.48, $40 higher, up to 18.83, there was just nothing but buying. And you can see what happens after it's all over. Those are panic, panic buying. Why, I don't know. We all know that the uh, algorithmic boys are out there, but they use these same numbers that we use. They have to. Otherwise, they wouldn't be responding like they do like this. I mean, they're just... Uh, uh, yeah, they're just amazing. But when you see this, you've got to be extremely careful here because here you've got a $2,000 profit. And in 15 minutes later, you've got about a $1,500 or a $500 profit. And then just a few minutes after that, you're lucky to get out at break even. So when you see those really powerful downswinging moves, uh, those are called yum yum trades, by the way, is what uh, John Hill, you don't see them very often. But when you do, they are very, very powerful. John, by the way, is uh, 97 now. He turned 97 in February. He hasn't been with us for well over four years now. But uh, it's really strange because Ed Dobson goes over to visit him. He doesn't remember Ed's name. He doesn't remember. He knows where he is because he goes for a walk every day. But, uh, but as soon as you put a chart in front of him, he can describe everything that's happening, just like he was as lucid as a 13-year-old boy. Uh, Ed is baffled by it, and so are the doctors. But when you put a chart in front of you, that's, uh, that'll probably be how, what am I talking about? That'll probably be how I end up. I hope it is. So we'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see. We got, I got a, an, another segment here that I wanted to uh, go over with you uh, because uh, I, I have a rough idea with the help of Shane Smolian, uh, who does a great deal of work in astrology. Uh, on some of these things that we look at. So we want to look at them because right now the dates are lining up pretty much like we had hoped. And what we're going to do now when we come back from the break, I want to share with you, you know, some of those things that we're that we're looking at. One of the reasons, folks, why the market is so bearish, I'm going to point this up to you. This is the cash uh, S&P index. And we'll get this up here. You'll see it. There it is right there. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. inflation where your purchasing power is eroded there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold vista gold's flagship asset is the mount todd gold project in the northern territory of australia this is australia's largest undeveloped gold project we are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district this is a large-scale low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve and a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ.
You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at tfnn.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're going to go down memory lane here a little bit. This is a chart. Uh, when I first started doing this for uh, TFNN, which was back in uh, 07, um, we were looking. This is 09. This is the March 9th bottom. You can see the three drive to a bottom pattern that was here in the Dow Jones. We were sitting right at, uh, I believe the S&P was at 666, as I recall. But uh, this is where we were on the Dow Jones. I think it was around 1600. I you know, I don't remember exactly. I probably could see if I looked at this. But anyway, you'll notice here that we had this major pattern here. And what I said was, this is going to be the biggest rally that we've had since 1938. Um, and the market rallied about 70% back in 1938. Of course, this went from 66, 666 and the uh, 1660 was in the S&P. But as Dow Jones, but the S&P was at 666, or really close to the devil's numbers. And uh, from there, we went up to uh, 40, uh, 4,800. So I uh, missed that one by quite a bit. But uh, what I want to talk to you a little bit about here is why these cycles the work the way they do, because we've got a really big one coming up. You'll remember uh, way back in April, I started talking about this one that we were going to be seeing that was going to be very, very interesting because it had such a great comparison to what happened in 1987. That's what these patterns, the, this time sequences were set up between August 25th, October the 2nd, then down into the 19th and 20th of October. This was equivalent to May the 5th, if you'll remember. That was our key level. We were setting at the 61% retracement around 40, 43 or 4,400, as I recall. And then, of course, we've broken down and we've gone below this by quite a bit. So that has triggered the market to come up and go a little bit lower. But let's go back just a tiny bit because I want to show you what was happening in the sky when we were watching these things on March the 5th of uh, 2009. And this is what uh, Shane refers to as a stellium or a train. I don't know exactly what he calls it, but basically what you're seeing here is you're seeing all the planets are lined up on the near, uh, very, very close together. Okay, now I don't know diddly squat about the astrology, folks. You know, I wrote books about it, but it was based on trading, looking at 14-day cycles that worked really good. Yeah, some of them work about 60, 70% of the time, but if you get beyond that, 
you know, you're not asking for too much. This business is all about risk control anyway. That's why, folks, I'm at a point in my life, I don't, I don't want to... I don't even want to know if there's a holy grail or not because the holy grail to me is between your ears. If you know what the heck you're doing, you're going to win more than you lose, and that's about it. You know, you don't you don't have any control over it. You know, control your risk. That's all you have to do. I know some people don't believe in astrology, and frankly, I don't know if it works or not. But I see it work more often than it fails, and that's the thing that's important. My God, we got guys like Norm Winsky, Shane Smullyan, and Tim Boss come on here all the time showing us great trades that are working, and they're all just based on these these numbers that are out there that are nothing more than cycles. So when all these things line up like this, it means quite a bit because most of the time they're spread out all over the map here. So when you see them lined up on one side or in a, in a certain quadrant, that really means something. Well, we've got one of those quadrants coming up, boys and girls, and I want to bring it to your attention right now. I'll get it up here to take a look at it. Here's what we have going on. Just give me a second here. We're just for my good friend, old JR, up there in the Pacific Northwest, kind enough to send this on to us. Look at this, folks. we got five of the big ones lined up. You can see them. Bing, bada, bing, bada, boom, bada, bing, bada, boom, right there. This is what the three wise men saw when they were there in October of the year zero during the, the time of the – it wasn't Christmas, folks. It was October because that's when the Jews collected their taxes, and that's where they were. We had Venus, Mars, and Mercury all lined up in a triple conjunction. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five of these conjunctions coming up on June the 24th. By the way, today is a full moon. It's also known as the strawberry moon. And that's because the strawberries are in season over in California and in Arizona. I am live today, Mr. Shane, so we're going to have you on hopefully tomorrow. If you can give us a few minutes of your time tomorrow, we'd love to have you on. But I uh, I had to come back, folks. And the reason why is I spent a lot of time with these markets. I was hoping to take this time off. I had to go to a funeral but uh, and help another friend and stuff. But uh, I, I really missed it. And we had such a incredible day yesterday uh, people were saying please come back on at least you know for the next few days or whatever this thing's going to happen i'm going to keep going through this uh, every day as best i can we are going to have a crash folks there's i don't have any doubt in my mind it's all set up now they're doing it in the cryptos right now and it's coming to the stocks they're going to really punish it Punish the people that didn't get out. There's no other way. Once we went below those lows of March the, uh, let's try it again, Larry, of May the 20th, we warned you of that, that, that if that broke, that was high translation to the left. Stan Harley broke, told us about that. That was from Walt Bresser, uh, high translation to the left, and that means the market's going to be down strong. And it's going to go down into June 24th. Uh, now, what the Fed does, the Fed is between the proverbial rock and a hard place, folks. They have nowhere to go. I mean, they've been pumping this thing with, uh, you know, funny uh, neon, not what do they call helium, laughing gas, because it's not very, very good. Now, let's take a look, get back to get what I wanted to show you. Now, here is the, the natal chart and the alignment of the planets that comes in here. On June the 24th, we'll just get up this. Our good friend Shane sent this to us. Maybe he'll be on tomorrow or Wednesday, uh, tomorrow or Thursday to talk about it. Well, you see how they're all lined up on one side? This is, uh, you know, really good. It's natural gas, not the alien. <laughs> <laughs> uh, too much medication. No, the only thing I take is these herbs, folks, and I'll tell you, they help me sleep. But, guys, when you wake up, Usually I'm up about 3 or 3.30. When I'm getting up at 6.15, that is flat out scary for me because that's 9.15 Eastern time. And I have a hard time. I have to wake up with an alarm clock now. I mean, I've, I've, not, uh, I've not had this uh, happen to me before. And what I did was I skipped the medication, uh, which was on Sunday night, just to see. Uh, we'll have Shane on on Thursday, folks. But uh, I, I skipped the medication on a Sunday night just to see if I would uh, wake up. And I, I did wake up, but I slept uh, uh, a little bit longer than I usually do. And uh, so the stuff really does work for me, and it's no side effects. It's, uh, God, it's only 39 bucks. And considering what they want for some of these medications, I've tried to help with sleep. But let's forget that. Let's get back to uh, – we've got a break coming up here, but I have to share you this uh, – cool picture here of uh, 
Uh, hold on one second. Let's get this up here so we can see it. You talk about the cryptocurrencies and what they're doing to them. Well, let's just see it. What they're doing to these guys here, they're going to do to what they've already done to the NASDAQ. You can see that. But this is uh, – we are going down big time, folks. Uh, I don't know when, the, when and if the crash is coming, but all the things are there to make it a crash. We're seeing the BIP, cryptocurrencies are getting massacred. Uh, you know, the, the NASDAQ stocks, are, you know, we're seeing stocks are getting hammered. And yet you have a stock like FedEx today is up uh, uh, 10% because of great earnings. So – all right, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, the Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, evidently I said something that uh, tripped uh, the, the tripwires in a bomb because I had three people just pop in and said they really liked the fact that I was not looking for a holy grail because the holy grail is between your ears. And, in fact, that's where it is. This is the action. Sunday night we broke down. You'll see the first 382 retracement here. You see the big one right in here, 382. Now, folks, all I'm going to do now, I mean, this stuff is so – I mean – it's so simple, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to try to do that. But if you follow through and just start looking for the 382s during this time frame, look, look, look what's happened. Because last night we had another one just absolutely perfectly. Now, this was the first one that we had uh, last night that had the ABCD in it. You see that? This, these are the ones on the way down. That was the first one right now. Okay, there was Sunday night. 
There was the first 382. There was the second one right here. And then we had the ABCD right here. We really needed that because we had not had an ABCD structure. And that was 90 handles, folks. $4,500 at rally. You know, that's 450 points in the Dow Jones. And if you don't believe it, just do it yourself, folks. Go back and look what happened to the Dow Jones last night. It went to the exact tick right here, to the exact tick, and dropped 500 points from that level. And what is that? I don't know why anybody's calling me. Oh, that's uh, Republican National Committee asking for money. Good luck with that. Call me in 2066. Okay, sorry about that. The phone is too far across the room to pick up. So, oh, uh, boys, don't give up. You'll never get any money from me. Uh, sucks. Well, they must really need it bad this time. Okay. All right. Let's move on to a couple other things. We've seen all of these in gold. We've seen them in crude oil. We've seen them in the S&P. They don't work all the time. But, folks, they work better than 65% of the time. Okay? Now, stop and think. There's no place in Las Vegas where they're going to give the odds 65% in your favor. Okay, and there's no place in Vegas where they're going to give you an even money payoff on something like that. Correct. But here we get to play with our rules because we define when we want to play and how much we want to bet and what we expect to win. That doesn't happen in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is based on games of chance. Games of chance are based on an event that once it starts, it goes to completion. Whether it's a toss of the die, toss of the dice, flip of a coin, blow of the whistle, two to the horn, you know, the dinging of a bell, uh, whatever the roll of the, the the roulette wheel, the turn of a card, whatever it happens to be. Everything stays the same until that game is over. You can't take your money off the table. But at any time that we do this, we have total control over our risk. And that's what makes us different than the gamblers. We are not gamblers, folks. Are you ready for this? We are intelligent risk speculators. That's what we are. We are basically insurance brokers. We're taking the other side of the trade of somebody that wants to assume the risk differently than the way we want to do it. That's what it's all about. That's why these numbers work. And if you think that these algorithmic traders that are out there where you see these moves of 100 points in the NASDAQ in 20 or 30 minutes, you think those boys don't know what those numbers are? Everything in this game that we do, folks, is related to numbers. It's a numbers game. You can't get any way about it. I mean, that's, that, that's all these charts are, X and Y coordinates, looking at numbers. And these guys with computers know what these sequences are. They're A, B, C, D, going right back to what Mendel Brot said, you know, and what we talk about in the Floor Traders Handbook. And by the way, I want to thank the folks that have sent me the really nice uh, comments about the newsletter that John Jameis has been writing for me for three years because it's a quality newsletter. And we've, uh, when we were in London, there were some people there that uh, I had to break the news to them that John Jameson has been writing the letter for me. But, uh, you know, they were so impressed with it, they want to do some publishing of the newsletter because some of the articles have been so good. And one of them, going back to April 1st when we were there, John was talking about the fact that we were getting written, the, the, uh, what, I think it was around 4,800. Uh, 48,000 in the uh, uh, Bitcoin at that time, and he was mentioning that uh, you know we were probably going to go to 20,000, and we're we had 21,000 uh, yesterday, so uh, we could go a little bit lower, but we're getting close to what we think would be a pretty good bottom in here. But we'll keep you uh, informed on uh, what's going uh, with that one. But uh, the letter has done very well as far as getting you on the right side of the market. And uh, that's what we're we're trying to do is so we can keep our you know wits about us as we might say, folks. These markets are volatile. They're going to continue to be volatile, but they will be volatile within the context of these numbers that we're doing. Each day when I come on here, I show you the three eight twos. I'll try to show you the three eight twos that don't work, and when they don't, you know you've got to be. I showed you one today in crude oil that didn't work, and uh, that happens. But by golly. Usually, where do you get an opportunity where the odds are better than, you know, seven out of ten that you're going to be right, and the payoff's going to be five, and six to one? I mean, that that's amazing. Just just look at, just take a look at this, folks, in natural gas. I mean, I'm embarrassed to say where I got out of this. I'm happy to make a buck, but but look at this thing, folks. Oh, what happened to it? There it is. 
Look at this. There's a perfect ABCD Gartley. Look at that. The ABCD is perfect. That number is 884. The high was 886. And then right before the opening is trading at 851. And bada bing, bada boom. Dropped $13,000. That's the second time that's happened, folks. Just last week, if you remember, we had one that was $16,000. These are monster moves. Pork bellies in their greatest day never did anything like this. So these are really, really monster moves, and you've got to, you know, prepare yourself for it. I'm, you know, I'm a believer in ABCD. I raise my hand. I, that's what I use. I mean, I see it work, and that's all I can tell you. I don't know anything else to, to really make a difference, or whether it's going to make a whole difference or not. But that's uh, that's neither here. The other cycle stuff, it has probabilities just like everything else. But all I'm trying to do is to line things up to make it uh, pretty good. And I wanted to bring to your attention uh, this thing about cryptocurrencies here because this is uh, one that uh, the only time I've ever made a recommendation was back in uh, uh, three years ago when uh, I was doing the, the very first trading session. Uh, we were trading at three and a half cents in uh, uh, ADA. And John said, if it gets above six cents, it's probably going to run. And so during that show, I said, you know, buy it if ADA gets above six cents. Well, it went from six cents all the way up to three dollars, folks. That's got so many zeros behind it on a percentage increase. If you'd put four grand into it at that time, you'd have cashed out for a quarter of a million. That's how much money it was. And I happen to know that there were some folks here uh, that belonged to the TFNN family uh, that actually almost did that whole thing to the upside. So it's sort of a, a life change. It's not the O'Briens, folks. I would never share any of their information, but these are two anonymous people that uh, did that particular one. And what we're doing now is we're waiting to see if, if John will give us the go-ahead on whether we're going to have a uh, another opportunity on these cryptos. Because if you look at the cryptos, folks, if once they started back in uh, 2006 or seven, whenever it was, 2009, when that, believe it or not, folks, the very first crypto, and this is, this is a, a, a proven fact, the very first transaction for Bitcoin is a guy down in Florida went into a Papa John's pizza place and gave 10,000 Bitcoins, 10,000 Bitcoin for a pizza. Swear to God, that today would be worth $270 million. Now that is expensive. Hey, we'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. 
Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, we're going to take a look here at the weekly chart of Treasury bonds. Okay, let's go back here a couple of years ago. You'll see we're making a high up here in the 170 level, right? Folks, this is when they were giving us the old tapioca and jello routine of uh, you have to put your money into negative interest rates. I mean, that, I've said many times, was the dumbest thing I have ever heard in the 60-some years I've been in this business. Absolutely the dumbest. You're going to give them money. They're not guaranteeing you that you're going to get it in return, and you're going to have to pay them for holding the money. Now, anybody that anybody that bought into that deserves uh, to see this bear market. But you'll see here we came down, we rallied up to the 382. This is a weekly now. Then we had the beautiful 135 pattern. There was your five right here, bought it being to the downside. Now look. We are within two points. We're trading at 131. We're two points away from 129, folks. And with the Fed coming in tomorrow, you you got to be a look to, to, to th this is going to be a big surprise. The Fed has lost control, folks. I mean, they've been doing this stuff with helicopter Ben Banky for, you know, 10, 12 years. It just precipitated it one after another. They just keep buying mortgage-backed securities. Well, folks, we had a mortgage, a 30-year mortgage three and a half weeks ago, right, four weeks ago. Yeah, four weeks ago was trading at, uh, I think, 2.75. Well, today it's 6.1. That means it's your mortgage, your interest in, in environment is going to be twice as much as it was. That's going to depend on how much the price of the house is and how much you can afford. Shut the front door and raise the rent. But, uh, you know, I'm just an old country boy out of Terre Haute, Indiana, boy, just trying to pick up some mushrooms and have them with my eggs and mushrooms in the morning. And that's all I do. I do A, B, C, D. If you don't like it, I appreciate that. I think it's wonderful that you don't like it, but it works for me and it works for a few other people. So uh, if you're having trouble with what you're looking at, buy the Floor Traders Handbook, folks. I'll explain to you why this darn thing works the way it does in the eyes of Benoit Mandelbrot, that everything is related to ABCD. These are the fractals that run the market, whether it's on a monthly chart like your weekly chart like you see here, daily chart, five minutes. It's all related to that seed that he talked about, which is none other than A, B equal C, D. Now, let's just talk just a, a, a moment here uh, about the gold market. Uh, we had a chance in that gold market, a uh, big move up on Friday to the 885 level. And then since that time, it's been a one-way Corrigan to the downside, telling us that we are heading towards at least 1712. That's $100 away from where we are right now in the gold. And uh, we'll see here. You'll be able to get to see what's happened the last few days. You can see Sunday night we opened higher. Then we had the break right up here to the 382. Came down again right at the opening 382. And that's when the big broke. Big break. <laughs> the big break happened from 1860 down to the final low was 1810. Well, so far because it's still going lower, but uh, we are waiting for another. Uh, again, all we do now is we recalculate the 382s to see what the next rally will be, and that's that's really what we're that's the main thing uh, of what we're trying to do when we when we look at these things, and that that's really what it's uh, what it's uh, all about. So. 
I, I hope these things help. I know those of you that follow along with the 24-7 are certainly uh, following along, right, because I get a lot of, uh, you know, email stuff about, wow, that was a great move or whatever. You know, we have some that, you know, that work really good for a while and didn't. I, I posted the the chart of the um, uh, crude oil. I've showed you that with the yum-yum with uh, – with John Hill. Those are all things that you've got to consider when you're doing that. As far as the astrology that I talked about here today, folks, these are just numbers. I, I don't know why they work. All I know is you got to pay attention to them. You know, you saw what happened on May 5th. That's all we were doing was going back to, to match these cycles. What happened when these cycles occurred in 1987? You ask the computer, when is it going to happen again? And bada bing, it comes up with something like, say, take a look at June 24th. Well, then you go back and see what the cycles are coming into June 24th. That's all we're really trying to do here, you know. And so it's uh, not an easy thing to try to understand. And it's certainly not easy for me. But all I do is look at the numbers. And when I see these patterns that are strongly trending, uh, markets like we're getting nowadays, all you're going to get is 382 retracements, and that's uh, that's the bottom line. Look at look at this one, folks. I sent a video out on this last night, long before this happened. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Just a minute, boys and girls. There we go. This is the euro. As soon as I get it up here, I updated it this morning, but I said, look for a 382 retracement to get short to euro. Folks, that was 100 pips up and 90 pips down. You know, that's a big move. You can see the, the ABCD pattern for me right there. There's a 61% retracement. And now we're getting down. We're going to get ready to try to make a double bottom. But if this fails, we're going to be looking at par in the euro. And the euro was par in 2000, believe it or not. So that's, uh, that's when it first came out. Well, 90, 1998 and 2000, the, the paper came out in 1999. Anyway, let's uh, move on to a, a question that someone's asking about the astrology. Where do they go to start to learn this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I would, uh, if you're interested in trading, you can try the Astral Cycles uh, Trader's Viewpoint. That was one of the books that I wrote. That's pretty good. Uh, Shane and I wrote a book on the uh, monitor the full moon and new moon cycles which is really good and we have a thing called today which is the strawberry moon it's a full moon and in parts of the world it looks like a strawberry and that's why they call it the strawberry moon they got different names for these things so whether they mean very much or not you know really makes no difference but the main reason folks is we've got to focus here on volatility because we're going to see to today and tomorrow especially tomorrow with the fed out there you're going to see really wild swings do the opposite of what the first swing is. That's basically what I would expect. If you see a, a sharp jab down to 128 in the bonds, I'd be a buyer. Unfortunately, you got to put a pretty big stop in or don't use a stop and pray that you're going to be right. <laughs> I know that's the strategy, but sometimes that's what you have to use. It's going to be very, very volatile tomorrow. Not when I'm on the air, but after, you know, late in the afternoon when they come out around 2 o'clock New York time, that's when the fat lady will get up with her, her soprano voice and sing, uh, you know, where, what's happening now. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, that's what we're watching here today. No matter what happens here, folks, these next, these next six or seven weeks are going to be some of the most volatile we've ever seen since uh, going back to probably 1987 and maybe a little bit in 2000 and 2009. That type of thing. We're going to have some because the people that have stayed around here on some of these stocks, the, you know, most of them have been decimated already. You know, Robinhood, Ark, and you know, so many Shopify. I mean, God, some of these things have just been massacred. But that's it. Look at Target for heaven's sakes. Even some of those have been hit pretty bad. So we are in a bear market, folks. Bear market acts differently than bull market. So learn how to. You know, sell those retracements and watch for those numbers that we watch uh, so often during these uh, big trucks, uh, big crashes down. Uh, as far as the crude oil, folks, we, once we broke above 122 after the rally that we had, gee, that was telling us that this thing really wanted to go. And with that big move, we had a $5,000 move in crude oil yesterday. You put that in your inflation pipe and smoke it. I mean, that's a 10 cents a gallon. Look at that. See that? That's a yum yum when you have a big run up right there. That's a yum yum when that thing takes off. And now we're way above here. So we're going to at least new highs and crude 130. We'll be right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Okay, folks, I want to uh, bring a chart to your attention here. This is the gold chart. Just give me one second and we'll end the program with this. Hopefully tomorrow, I guess, will be Jeff Huge, Alpha Insights. On Thursday, we're going to have Shane Smolian. On Friday, we'll try to have Tim Boss or Norman Winsky. As you can see here, folks, this is the weekly chart here. We've come down. You see the rally up here went exactly to the uh, instead of stopping at 382, it went to the 50% level at 1883. And now we're trading at 1810. This tells us, folks, that we're most probably going here to match these lows from two years ago. That would be just below the 1700 level, right around that 1650 in that ballpark. As we get closer in the dailies, we'll be able to get pinpoint where we think the exact price will be. And then hopefully it'll be within 10 or $15 of that so that we'll be able to get long gold. But until that time, folks, we want to be looking to short the gold. If you get a 382 retracement here from the high we made at 1883 down to 1810 so far today, that's $73, whatever that low is. Take 30% of that, you know, 30, 38%, that takes you up about 30, 40 bucks. Watch for a 30 or $40 rally to get short the gold because this is a big move down that's coming and I don't know if it's related to anti-inflation or whatever it happens to be I really don't know uh, also on a very positive note make sure you try to help your neighbors out folks uh, one of the reasons why I'm back here today is we've got a 94 year old uh, neighbor here that needs help and uh, the family lives far away and knew that I was gone and got in touch with me and I said well I was coming back anyway so uh, that was another reason why I'm uh, while I'm here. So 
looking forward, uh, you know, to helping them out and then helping you folks out. Uh, if you help yourself out, folks, if you start learning how to use 3A2 patterns, because in bear markets, you see quick counter trend rallies and then flying well Wellindas to the downside. And that's what we like, like we saw natural gas today, flying well Wellindas to the downside. So live for every day in an attitude of gratitude. And we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Make sure you're using stops, folks, because anything can happen, and it usually does. Sayonara.